Hey friends, this is your host Vishwajit. Once again, welcomes you in another episode of Smart Drive. Hope you have enjoyed our special episode on keyless entry system. If not, please click on this link. The keyless entry system is a miracle, but the basic technology behind this miracle is the central locking system. So now let's discuss about central locking system in this episode. Nowadays, all cars are equipped with the central locking system. The central locking system of a car controls all four passenger doors, engine hood, as well as the boot space lid. The central locking system mainly consists of electronic locks, which are controlled by the master lock, and there is an electrical unit we can call electrical control unit (ECU), which controls all the locking mechanism of a car. As you can see. we have various signal inputs and outputs for the control unit now let's discuss all these inputs and outputs one by one this is the most important input for the control unit as we all know that we have variety of options to lock or unlock the car therefore it will be needed by the control unit to check status of every lock component for the keyless entry system location of remote key is also a mode of input for the control unit the central locking system also gets input from different sensors installed in overall car for the intrusions in case of theft these sensors will be activated and will result into full blast siren the control unit also uses timer to make few decisions like locking the unattended car the control unit continuously scans for the changes in the lock system engine status is also important input it will check whether the car is in lock acc on or in a start mode a car speed will be also taken as a input for control unit for certain cases few cars also takes airbag status as a input and in emergencies or accident if the airbag activates all the doors will be unlocked by the car itself door shut press button sensor is also a important input for the control unit while discussing about outputs actual locking and unlocking of the electronic lock happens the blinking of indicator lights These are few dashboard indicators which are controlled by central locking system. This security signal light will indicate that whether the central locking system is activated or not. that was all about the technology but how i can use the central locking system in a day to day life so let's have a look how you can change the settings and make the central locking system more useful for you now let's discuss about the central locking settings available in maruti suzuki cars first of all you need to press this button for at least 3 seconds so for door settings you have to press this button once again this d1 is for central door locking system to enter in the same you have to press this once in the d1 section sl1 is the setting for unlocking all the doors by just turning a key once or pressing unlock button on the remote once while on other hand in d1 sl2 settings you have to turn the key twice or press the unlock button twice to open all four doors in this setting 
if you unlock by turning a key or by remote only driver door will open let's have a quick look with the d1 sl2 setting when i'm locking the car all four doors will be locked when i'm pressing unlock button once only driver door will be unlocked and when i'm pressing the unlock button twice all four doors will be opened so locking all doors will be locked once again but while unlocking other than driver doors you have to press unlock button twice as you can see my car has a default setting of d1 sl1 which is when i press unlock button once it will open all four doors of my car now let us discuss about d2 d2 is automatic door locking function which means that the smart controller available in the car decides whether to lock the car or not you can just press this button once to get into the locking settings the setting sl1 shows that there will be no automatic locking of doors sl2 will automatically lock while my speed is greater than 15 km per hour sometimes it will come with the sl3 version that is for automatic cars when you press sl3 all four doors will be locked automatically when the gear is shifted instead of p now i would like to go back to previous menu that is back pressing once this is very important setting over here that is d5 which is related to the security system in the d5 mode by just pressing this once in the sl1 setting car will give a brief siren for locking and unlocking function in sl2 there will be no such siren or audio signals for locking and unlocking i will highly recommend for d5 sl1 setting only so that was all about door settings now press back and end hope you enjoyed the episode we have a special official website over here you can just click on it and you can also subscribe our youtube channel in case you have any doubts or comments kindly comment below the special links are also available in the video description thanks for watching this is vishwajit signing off from smart drive